<laughs> Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday and I don't do Saturdays off, I got a Saturday off. The postman's been, the weather's absolutely atrocious. Finally, these have come. They're the new boats for back. Got two sets of these for the track in. This has come for the driver's seat. So, yeah, that's on next. You have been? These guys are chewing absolutely everything right now. This have also come from earlier yesterday. It is the one with the induction which sits on the passenger side. So, I hope it's better for the air intake. But yeah, when the weather's a bit better, we get that on. So, yeah, and um, for those of you following the journey, the pups are eight weeks old today. It is Sunday. Um, they go for injections tomorrow, and as of Tuesday, they're starting going off their new homes. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm going to miss for guys and girls. Um, they're absolutely adorable. They're so much fun, but they are also a pain in the backside and a lot of maintenance. So, hats off to Chelsea for looking after them because she works from home. <laughs> They want them to miss the car before they had the chance to go out dinner. This is our little party. Yeah, and treat. Um, show you this in another video and I get this on the car hopefully it's really simple and straightforward also I do a bit of a rewind bigger here we go knock knock <sighs> who's there Buddha Buddha who Buddha the spread for me won't you <laughs> <laughs> If you take a look there, the torque mount was absolutely knackered. So again, Smithy, great guys, ST, 225 and Fiesta ST150 and Mark 3 Fiestas. Um, he sorted me out with this torque mount. Um, I can't even remember the make of it. You'll see in the picture, but apparently it's a really good one. So they're like 140, 150 quid. It's off a breaker. And to get this on a car, it's literally two bolts. Might drop down obviously the cradle part, which is three bolts on it inside the gearbox. Get that on. Um, we put one on Matthews this week. And it's literally like, well, up until it's about one half thousand revs of a boo, you can feel it shaking through the car. But the gear changes are much better. Hopefully, this one isn't as aggressive. So, we catch this up, that looks much nicer and neater. Um, I'm not going to get a carbon cover for this. Um, but yeah, so we just pop these out, and this is the reason why I'm replacing it because it's broken. So, hopefully, just by going like that, it will be done. Okay, so that is fitted now. If we look for. But the outside, outside, I don't have a two centre ones yet, just need to re drill them through. Um, I had to trim here about a centimetre and a half off each side, like any aftermarket part, they're just not very good fitting. And it's supposed to clip over here, but it doesn't. So I might actually sink another one of these clips down in that section. I haven't tried closing the bar yet, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Shall I have a go of it now? Quickly before I drive, I also put my standard sticker on just to keep that original look. And the KMS sticker that was on the car, so I peeled off when I had it. Also, the bonnet has a natural catch here as well, which is way better than this thing right here, which is damaged. Let's, uh, let's see if we have any issues. No, we good. It's not cold desk, what sounds like. That relentless task of moving all the cars around. So let's get back in the garage. I do we take this for a spin? There we are, there. she is home. 
Kind of like these nostalgic. Okay. Okay, when you have a water of the matrix. Yep, that's a pain in my ass too. These are the off cuts, so it didn't take much, but it was causing it to protrude, make it uh, like lift up a little bit. To chuck around the bin. So yeah, this is the month. It's a hard race chassis steering alignment. It's um it's a high torque month, it is, so hopefully that will get rid of some of my knocks and bangs. I have this to go on, which will go here. That looks pretty cool then. Um, I'm gonna have to power on the wipe this up a little bit, make sure it sticks. I am supposed to be putting leather in here, but I really like the cloth. This can't get away from this cloth. I'm loving it. It really sets a car off. Yeah, I've been powering a wipe on a rag. Let's clean off any silicone would have been on here. You know, it's like people like to put this kind of stuff on seats to, uh, to make them shine. Let's have a look, shall we? What it's like? There we are. Velcroed on now. To be honest, for the sake of like, I think I was £10 plus post off eBay. That's fantastic. Obviously, we'll be doing that tight, yeah, it's just to stop the splitting for now. But yeah, cracking. Three days later. Whilst we're working on cars, I might be the only person who's got like a super speedy deadline. So I've just been granted 20 minutes to do my talk mount on the car because Chelsea's gone for a quick bath. So trying to fit jobs in with a car, make YouTube content, go by day to day work, look after pups and stuff. How do you guys all cope? How do you find it? Um, I think I'm doing pretty well. I've done a hell of a lot done in the last three or four weeks on this build. So far, but anyhow, I'm awfully on now, wasting time. And I've got to get this. But, 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 start again. I have got to get this mount on fast. Okay, so we're going to take this out. Slacken that off while it's on the car. And unclip this and take these three bolts off. I think it's 13 if I remember correctly and that's like a 15, 16 we'll soon find out now but yeah this mount is sh well, it's shafted okay so in record breaking time that is off um, I just want to show you something so I don't know if you can see how much movement is in this um, if you can see that and it also looks like it's split all the way around the edge in there. So that is a new mount. As well as the bushiness in here. It's really soft. So we're going to chuck this new one on. Which has zero movement in there. Um, it's literally 13 mils and 15 mils. It's minutes of work. 12 seconds later. And done. In a record break in 12 minutes. You'd be massively surprised with the difference in like, the flex already. Um, do a quick road test now. One last quick show of you. You can see better now. We mount the flex in this old mount. It's a brand new mount. No doubt an eBay special. Okay, so let's drop this down off the uh, jack. Um, <clears throat> reverse the back of the ramps. Remember already Matthew told me how bad the engagement, sorry, how bad the rack but it was not a feedback for the car on his. So I'm hoping I don't have that problem. Foot's on a clutch at the moment. Let's try it, shall we? Through car, but I can hear like my CDs in the door going, but it's not vibrating as bad as Matthew's. Or anything yet, though, because I was having a few clunks now and again. 
gonna crack my screen, Blair, or my lens, my camera. New camera, need it. and fingers crossed but yeah that's done right now so I'll take that and I'll road test it further in the morning but that's all you're having for me today I just wish to add it took me 13 minutes to do that mount and a total of 16 and a half minutes to move all the cars back so that's putting the Esco back in the garage putting a focus out the front on the drive and bringing a mini back up on the street so Chelsea if you're watching I follow task, I did it, I nailed it. So, update on this new mount. Um, I've lost the clunking and the clicking when I go from forward to reverse if I'm trying to park. I've lost the, um, say I've been driving and I went from reverse, there's a bit of clutching, clutch out, clutching from reverse. So the engine clearly wasn't sitting in line with the gearbox. So that mount has made one heck of a difference. It's a firmer drive. It's nice on gear changes. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, I've got another little modification, well, same modification, swap out to do in a car. It's absolutely chucking down out. I'm in a garage currently because the escort's in here. Not dragging the escort out to do the job. I'll just get wet. Um, yeah, it's a case of just, just JFDI it. Um, but I'm sure what I'm going to do now. I'm waiting for DPD to deliver the part. Um, I'll just get it off and ready and that's going to be a lot quicker. So, I've never been happy with how this is sitting. This is really close. I want to put the intake down here. Also want to swap out that hose because it doesn't look the best. Um, but this is all tied up and it's a tidy up. That's going and again, new hose for down here. Replace the standard one. But I've ordered myself a blue, is it Pro Sport or whatever? It's a water. I don't know, blue one with a baffler. So these pipes, if you know, have got baffles in them. So that absorbs part of the induction note. Not only that, um, they make a cylinder, you lose a flutter and stuff. And because I'm removing this and it's got an aftermarket recirc on it, I think it's the right thing to do. It'll jazz the bay up a bit because it's a bit more, but it's, it's blue. Um, and this doesn't sit right. So I'm gonna angle it correctly and hopefully bring this over and eventually lose this cable tie. To do so, okay. We need to pull this off and do these clips. There's a T47, I think, or T45 Torx in there, if I remember correctly. 15 mil on the wipers. Let's get the wipers off. Let's get this off. Let's get the under tray scuttle off underneath there. And I believe it's a 7 mil on here and a 7 mil further down there. Um, I'm not going to time lapse it. I'll show you when I've done the next part. As it is raining, I realise just always reset your wipers to factory, otherwise they're going to be going ping over the other side. For reference, these are T30, okay? Put them down there. Don't forget for your wipers left and right. Slacking this off now, which is the 7 mil and the next one down. Right, it's belting down now, and a DPD manager yet. Um, I'm going to show you the removed baffled pipe okay so you can have a nose of this um it's raining out real hard at the moment so i put something over the turbo so nothing goes down there that's where you want this water in the turbo i should be an engineer look at that that's going to stop all that for me hold on let's take this down one-handed you'll see why now so yeah that's going to stop any water going in there if you can hear me over the rain um if you look down here, this is the original baffled pipe. So it's quite solid, it's got bafflers and out of plastic. People do take the bafflers out and use just the pipe. Really dangerous there, you know, because these pipes compress and they restrict air. So it's an Audi sign then. But yeah, all Volvo parts on these with it being a Volvo engine. So, so far it's taken me about four or five minutes, but rain has stopped play and I can't do anything else now until the part comes anyhow. And just a reminder, I keep saying, this is my baby, this is my escort of a channel. Um, so the channel evolved and become popular. 
I'm at Welsh Ford on the 30th of July in Cars of Castle. Um, it's at the Cars of the Court. I've got my own little bit up there with some other YouTubers. Yeah, it's a bit cringe like, but um, come and see us. Uh, Matthew's there for Santa's body repairs. I've got my old Palmer and the boys too. Come and see us. Um, and hopefully, I will see you in another show. And hopefully, I'll have another video dropping soon with some really cool information or something cool happening. Uh, don't let the cat out of the bag. There has been glimpses of what's going on. Um, a very well known thing shared something. I'm not sure if you've seen it. If you do know, put it in the comments to see how much you've noticed, how much attention you paid to my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I already have DPD so I can get this on now, mate. FYI, just so everybody knows, the batteries have gone in the clock. You probably picked up an app by now. But yeah, my pro hose in Gloss Blue has come. Look how big it is compared to her. She's going today to a new owners, but she stayed in the family. One of them went earlier as well. So throughout this video, you'll probably see the dash arms go in. Um, but yeah, I had my cup of tea, the rain stopped off now, so I'm gonna get this on the car. 12 seconds later. Here we are, rain is off, uh, well, it's backed off a lot now. But this hose is a good quality, in fairness. It's nice and thick, got a bit of rigidity to it. Rain's back out, but I have a hose on, don't know, you can see it. Yeah, we have a blue hose on. I'm not overly happy. I don't. I need a bracket for this. Okay, so this is an air tech one. It doesn't. Um, hope that doesn't rattle. To be honest. So it's cable tied at the moment because I don't want to move it back and forth and damage in my math. I turn my math upside down. But yeah, let's um, let's start it up and see what happens. The car's already warm. Already the noise is much much louder. Let's take for a drive. Okay, it's literally hammering down now, okay? So we're going to go to the end of the road and back, see if it makes a difference. Um, so actually, I live on a quite quiet residential estate too, so I can't give it any full sense. I have someone coming up right now. So we're going to be a, a minute. Let's try, shall we? Yeah, the induction hose is already louder. It's hard here because it's raining so bad. Let's do these windows up. Yeah, it's a lot more throaty and sucky. Let's get it turned around, shall we? With the weather being like this, we can't really do a full proper check. Let's see if we can hear this now. Oops, pops and bangs. Yeah, I think uh, it's much more throaty as it is at the moment. Yeah, sounds nice. It's dumping a bit through the filter. My dump valve's definitely not working. I think that's what the noise is, is the vacuum leak going to it. And it's just constantly open, so I'm probably losing power through that. Again, if the chat I went through it, I've got so the next um, mod will be to remove the cold side boosters. Yes, more throaty uh, for sure. So, look, I'm gonna wrap up now. I'm gonna get in the house, have a wash, dry myself off and have a nice relaxing evening but um in the meantime if you want to follow the journey if you want to follow the escort if you want to follow other bills don't forget to hit like sub and comment but yeah until next time cheers also i'm on a lookout for some nice mark ii focus rs blue and white cloth seats for the caros so if you happen to know for any let me know um not an extortion amount i do know they are not the cheap seats but i would like a set um 
So we've done the air dam intake, we've done, what else have I done? Torque mount and the um, boost pipe. So well, another boost induction pipe. Um, yeah, quite a productive two or three days.